What is going on guys? I am Laserbolt and welcome to another Gotham Knights video. Today we're going to be talking about who is the best character right now in Gotham Knights. This is the tier list of who is the best character and the reason I feel I could actually give you the right information is because every single of my characters is completely maxed out. Let me go ahead and show you and prove it to you guys because I have seen other people that have made lists with altered characters being completely maxed out. As you guys see, this is my Nightwing full legendary armor. And if you look at my abilities, my abilities are all completely done and all my momentum abilities are done for Nightwing. Here you are taking a look at my Robin. My Robin is completely laid out with legendary armor as well with all my momentum abilities unlocked as well. I will have a momentum tier list on which are the best ones for each character. So you're definitely going to want to make sure you stay tuned for that. Here is my Batgirl character. As you guys see, full legendary gear once again with all my abilities fully decked out and all my momentum abilities unlocked as well. And here here guys is my red hood all legendaried out and all his abilities are also fully unlocked as well so you guys know i am making this video from playing each character extensively and i can tell you guys one thing i love about this game that i've played other games before that have multiple characters and there's always like a op character that everybody wants to you know kind of main i'm actually glad to mention guys that each character here individually has its own different playstyle, and the takeaway from this particular video guys is that all the characters are really good it's gonna pretty much fall down on what is your playstyle as what character you prefer to play as but i do have to tell you that some characters do have some advantages over others and that is exactly how we compile this tier list so let me go ahead and break down the five different categories we're going to be breaking down each character and each character will have its own tier list for that specific category so if you guys like how that sounds, a like would be greatly appreciated. And a massive thank you for everybody who has supported the channel by hitting the join button down below. Your names are actually scrolling down. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your support. If you want to support, hit that join button as well. So the first category we're going to talk about, and we have to mention this, guys, is Traversal. That is how the character is able to go from one part of the map to the other part of the map. Now, I'm going to tell you guys the order I actually put these in based on that particular category. So for Traversal guys, we have Nightwing coming number one. The reason we're putting him at number one is because not only is he able to traverse throughout the whole map without losing any elevation, or without needing to grapple to get elevation, he's just able to take off with the glider and he's able to go through the map from point A all the way to point B without having any problem at all. And the reason we like it, it's that easy to maneuver, easy to move around the map with him. You could grapple and glide. You could do all sorts of things. So very good when it comes to traversal. Number two on this category, we're putting Red Hood. Red Hood is definitely one of the most OP characters when it comes to traversal. I think they're pretty much tied with Nightwing because they're able to go anywhere they want. They don't really need that high elevation to be able to move around the map. And these two characters, for example, Nightwing and Red Hood, I think are pretty much tied in this category. Now, where we kind of separate a little bit is with Batgirl. Batgirl will be my number three due to the fact that she needs high elevation to move around the map. And unfortunately, guys, she doesn't have the ability like when you're playing Apex or you play any other like Batman games where you're able to kind of dive down a little bit and come back up with the glider and kind of get momentum that way. She doesn't have that much uh, fluidity when it comes to that particular way where you get a good amount of elevation. And I feel like that should get buffed in the sense so you could traverse a little bit better with her. But she's still a really good character when it comes around moving the map. The worst one out of all of them, I personally believe, it's definitely Robin. Now, I like what they did with Robin, kind of giving him that tech feel of him being able to move around the map. But I feel like it messes the momentum that you have in the game. So let's say you're trying to go from one point to another one, and then you start traversing with Robin. It's like it feels like you're kind of like stopping between what you're doing. So I wish the teleport feature was a little bit more fluid and had more fluidity with Robin to make it seem more in sync with the game. But overall, that is the current list that I have as far as traversal. Let me know if you guys agree in the comments section down below. All right, so the next tier category we're going to be talking about, guys, is build diversity. And you're probably wondering, Laser, what the heck is build diversity? The best way I can explain it, guys, is with Robin. As you guys know, Robin's main focal point when it comes to playing the game is the ability of being a main character playing stealth and also being a character that has really good elemental damage. And we want to make sure that there's certain suits, there's certain melee weapons, ranged weapons 
that synergize perfectly with the character that allow a very good build diversity. That's what we're referring to build diversity. So I've broken this down because I've played with every character. I've gotten melee weapons, ranged weapons, and I've seen different suits that we uh, work well with each individual character. And the way I went and judged this was based on giving my opinion on how fast they're able to get their ability, on how fast they're able to get a crit chance, if, if there's a crit chance involved, on how fast they're able to build up any elemental effect. And this is the breakdown we got with build diversity. At number one, we have Nightwing coming in number one once again. Very good build diversity, especially with the ability of being able to get his mobility back and having that mobility synergize perfectly with the armor and allowing him to get his skill backs. I will have a build guide for each individual character. Well, I'll break this down a little bit more, but that's the reason he is number one. And number two, for build diversity, we have Batgirl. Batgirl is actually really good when it comes to build diversity due to the fact that a lot of the gear and a lot of the weapons she's able to harness give her the ability of not only being able to get her ultimate ability back, but being able to spam abilities when it comes to playing the game as long as you're synergizing perfectly. At number three, we have Red Hood. Red Hood is pretty much almost tied with Batgirl and I would say they're pretty even when it comes to Batgirl because he's able to also be able to get his abilities back very fast as long as you have the proper armor on him. And not only that, but he's able to get his ultimate a little bit, takes a little bit longer than Batgirl but he's still able to regen his ultimate back very fast. Last on the list is we have Robin, and the reason we have Robin on the back of the list is not because he's able to not able to get his abilities as quickly as the other ones, it's just because some of the armors are focused on two major things. Number one, being able to knock down enemies, and having that ability be able to give you back either your elemental damage or give you back your abilities. But the biggest problem with him is the ultimate ability and how long it actually takes to you know get charged back up. Now I believe I and I'm crossing my fingers he does get buffed when it comes to this particular option, which I'll talk a little bit more in depth about this when we take a look at his build. But I feel like that is where he's just lacking just a bit. So that is a tier list when it comes to build diversity. All right, so for the next category, guys, we took into account who has the easiest time to kill hard killing enemies for example the court of owls which are the ones that are the most difficult to deal with due to the fact that they're always disappearing reappearing they have a really good charge attack they have a little a lot of really good mechanics they throw stuff at you and we kind of paired everybody against here and coming in number one when it comes to overall taking care of the hardest enemies right here guys the list changes up a little bit because we have batgirl coming in at number one not only because she's able to generate a lot of crit damage but she's able to use her ultimate ability, which almost makes her a tank and makes her unkillable due to the fact that the bats swarming around her not only protect her from taking damage, but they also inflict damage as well. And with the ability of being able to get her abilities back, this is becomes almost spammable and it just becomes a cycle over, which we'll talk about more within her build. At number two, we have Nightwing coming in at number two in this particular category due to the fact that he almost has unlimited amount use of his ultimate ability. The reason why he is not number one is because his ultimate ability is not that powerful as Batgirl's ultimate ability. Now, he does, he's able to spam it over and over and over. But it is not as powerful, so it doesn't allow you to clear the ads as quickly as you possibly can because they kind of have to be funneled within a specific area. As opposed to Batgirl, she's able to move around easily with her ability. At number three, we have Red Hood. Once again, he is a very good character, and the biggest advantage we have with him is he gets his abilities back very, very fast. And he's able to, uh, you know, grab onto people really quickly with very limited amount of health and allowing you to take them out in that fashion without needing abilities. And he still has his abilities and his ultimate, even though it takes a little bit longer, he has a lot of ways to actually get around. Last but not least here, guys, we have Robin once again coming back when it comes to killing enemies. The problem with Robin is the fact that his main his character is really focused when it comes to stealth. He's able to pick up elemental damage, but elemental damage will only carry you so far as long as you have the proper melee and range weapon 
as opposed to the other characters. Now, if you did take away the element aspect of Robin, all he really has is stealth, and there's certain areas where you can't really be too stealthy, and the smoke doesn't really play too much of a factor, and some of his abilities revolve around him being sneaky, and that is the reason he is on the last end of this list. For the next tier list, I wanted to include this because I feel like this is very important to the game, and that is how frequent you're able to use your ability compared to on all characters now if we went ahead and did this and we did a couple of tests uh nightwing came in number one in this one because he's able to get his ability constantly almost indefinitely without losing it as long as you're keeping up your momentum and you're moving around the map you're going to be able to use your ability and it's going to come back it doesn't mean it's the best ability but we're just talking about how fast you're able to use it and uh, based on how fast you're able to use it it's very important because that means you're never running out of it right so Nightwing comes in number one. At number two, we have Batgirl. She's pretty much tied with Red Hood, even though she gets it a little bit faster. That's why she's number two. Once again, her ultimate ability, you could use it very, very frequently. It's almost indefinite as long as you have the right synergy. Red Hood, his ability takes a little bit longer. If it were to be as fast as Nightwing, then it would just be broken. But if as long as it were as fast as Batgirl's, it would be really, really dumb. It'd probably still be broken, though, man. His ability is really, really powerful. And last but not least, we have Robin. His nanobots take forever, dude, to charge. They just, I've tried everything I could possibly do to charge it up faster. And there is no way I could get this to charge as quickly as the other ones. That's why he's coming in at last. Now, now that we talked on how fast you get the ability, let's talk about the most OP abilities. So for the most OP abil abilities here, guys, we're going to put Red Hood. His ability is just overpowered it just it's able to clear a whole room like it, it, even if the enemy was like it's a really tank you're able to clear the whole room and then just go grab the tank and pretty much it's over so definitely red hood his ultimate ability super powerful and number two here guys we have bad girl her ultimate ability is not as powerful at red hood but it's mobile so you're able to move around with it number two you're able to use it every single time without losing it so she would probably be number one, but since we're talking about power in general, she is coming in at number two. For number three, we have Nightwing. He's able to uh, have unlimited use of his ability, but unfortunately, his ability is not as powerful as the other ones. And last but not least here, guys, we have Robin. His ultimate ability is really good. It's just the fact that it kind of suffers from being able to use it as frequently as we possibly can. And that's what kind of holds him back because the nano, the micro bots just take forever. They take forever. And the duration's 10 seconds. It is a pretty long duration. Uh, either I wish this would get extended to 15 or have the cooldown be a little bit shorter. I think that would make it even perfect. All right. So now to talk about who I personally think is the best character. And guys, this is my personal opinion from playing the characters over and over and giving you guys this uh, kind of breakdown of each character i know not everybody's gonna get a chance to play with every character and some of you guys are probably playing well and want to know which one's better and which is not this is just my opinion from all the testing i've done and i wanted to give you guys a more concise opinion not just saying this character is good this character is bad i actually wanted to test the characters and you know give you guys opinion on that now this might change when it comes to playing co-op with the new mode that's coming out in november so you're definitely going to want to make sure you keep it locked on the channel in case this says now i gotta be honest guys when i put this list together before the game came out i had a completely different list now that i got a chance to play the game things change so here is my list for the best character currently right now in the game and that is going to be yes batgirl batgirl is the number one character here on the list due to the fact that, like i mentioned before having unlimited use of her ability being stealthy, being able to go ahead, have a very good, um, like, you know, traversal mechanic. She overall, really, really good character. Coming in at number two, and I am going to say two is pretty much a tie due to the fact that they are really, really good. The only difference is that one's able to use his ultimate ability ever, which is Nightwing. And the other one has the most powerful ability in the whole entire game. And that's Red Hood. Not only are they able to clear rooms really, really good, but they are able to do so much damage and use their abilities so well and synergize so perfectly. And I know what some of you guys are thinking, well, laser, the mobility on Red Hood is not as great. It's clunky. You guys are definitely going to want to see my build video because I think a lot of people are playing him the wrong way and not being able to combo his ability and synergize perfectly with movement. So you're definitely going to want to watch that video, but I am definitely going to put 
Nightwing, and Red Hood at a tie. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to pick. And let me know in the comment section down below if you guys agree or disagree with this list and why. And coming in last is Robin. Now, unfortunately, on my previous list, before playing the game, I had Robin like at number two, number three. I didn't think he was going to drop this low. I felt stealth was going to be really important in the game. And it is when you're playing the story. But once it comes to endgame where you're clearing out a bunch of mobs, when you're going into a bunch of buildings, you want to get stuff done fast, his stealth is really good for certain kind of, you know, certain stuff that you're doing. But overall, in general, you want to clear enemies as quickly as you possibly can. Want to be able to use your ultimate ability. I mean, who doesn't want to be a superhero and use their ultimate ability as much as they possibly can? I wish the cooldown would come down a little bit more or they would extend the duration of the uh, ma ma micro bots so they could be a very viable character. So we could move them up to maybe two and bring someone down to three. But overall, in general, guys, that is my tier list for the best characters in the game. Let me know once again in the comment section down below if you guys agree. Guys, thank you much so much for the support you've shown to the channel thank you everybody who has subscribed and big shout out once again to all of you who have decided to join and become part of the bull nation you guys are amazing we couldn't do this without you guys so thank you very much watch this video that's popping up right now guys you're definitely not going to want to miss it because it's going to show you guys how to get god rolls if you didn't know god rolls existed in the game they actually do i hope you guys are enjoying content make sure you subscribe turn on all your notifications thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one